A newly formed state task force will soon start looking at safety standards for warehouses in Illinois. This comes in response to the December 2021 Amazon collapse that killed six people. Five on your side's Holden Kawicki has more on what one family would like to see from the state after their son was killed. December 10th, 2021 is a day that Carla and Lynn Cope will never forget. I remember us going down there and seeing all the rescue vehicles. Their son Clay and five of his co-workers lost their lives when an EF3 tornado struck the warehouse they were working in. That was always one of my greatest fears. They said that they had shelters, but they had no training to even know where to go. That night apparently was nothing but chaos. After the collapse, OSHA issued a hazard alert letter to Amazon, but said the company's emergency procedures met minimal federal safety guidelines. They met the minimum standards and people lost their lives and I don't believe the minimums are good enough if people lose their lives. That's just not realistic. With building codes set to expire in 2025, Illinois recently created a warehouse safety task force to review those policies. And after retiring from warehouse work, Lynn Cope believes he knows where they should start. Having more places uh, for the people to go in a safe place, um, that's what I'd like to see someplace and they can be, you know, multi-use places where you go to uh, to find shelter. It can be the lunchroom as long as it's fortified. While the state of Illinois has set a deadline for the task force to come up with any recommendations, it's January 1st of 2025 and the copes believe if the state is serious about safety, something needs to happen sooner. Those tornadoes come through here all the time. Two years is just a task force. To completion, this could be five years from now. How many more times is this going to happen before they say, you know what, it's worth it for us to invest a small amount into our employees to make sure that this doesn't happen again? Representative Katie Stewart from Edwardsville is a member of the 16-member committee. Within the last hour, she reached out to the Cope family about their interest in joining the task force.